In today's digital age, one term that you might have come across quite often is Bitcoin. But what exactly is Bitcoin? Well, picture a world where money isn't controlled by banks or governments. Welcome to the world of Bitcoin. It's a decentralized cryptocurrency that was introduced to us in 2009 by an anonymous developer, or perhaps a group of developers, who went by the name Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin operates on something called a blockchain network, which is a kind of digital ledger that records all transactions made with this cryptocurrency. And the best part? You don't need a bank or a broker to buy Bitcoin. It can be purchased on various exchanges from anywhere in the world at any time. Intrigued? Let's dive deeper into the world of Bitcoin. Now that we know what Bitcoin is, you might be wondering how it works. Let's start at the heart of it all. The Bitcoin blockchain. This is a public ledger where all Bitcoin transactions are recorded. But how do transactions get approved and added to this ledger? This is where Bitcoin miners come into play. Bitcoin miners are the backbone of the Bitcoin network. They solve complex mathematical problems to verify transactions. Think of them as detectives verifying the authenticity of each transaction. They check that the person sending Bitcoins actually has enough in their account and hasn't already sent those same Bitcoins to someone else. Once they've verified it, they add the transaction to a block. But verifying transactions isn't an easy task. It involves solving a complex mathematical problem, a process known as mining. This isn't like the mining we see in the physical world. It's a digital process requiring significant computational power. To mine Bitcoins, you need specialized hardware called ASICs, which stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuits. These are designed specifically for the task of mining Bitcoin and are incredibly powerful. However, they're also quite expensive and use a lot of electricity. That's why many miners join what are known as mining pools. These are groups of miners who combine their computational power to solve the mathematical problems more quickly. The Bitcoin rewards they earn are then shared amongst the group, proportional to the amount of work each miner contributed. And speaking of rewards, did you know that the reward for mining Bitcoin is halved every 210,000 blocks? This event is known as a halving, and it's a big deal in the world of Bitcoin. The most recent halving occurred in May of 2020. This halving process is designed to control the supply of Bitcoins and prevent inflation. So, to sum it up, the Bitcoin network relies on miners to verify transactions and add them to the blockchain. They do this by solving complex mathematical problems using powerful hardware. In return, they're rewarded with newly minted Bitcoins. Now that we know how Bitcoin works, let's explore how you can buy Bitcoin. Buying Bitcoin is not as complicated as it might seem. Let's break it down. So, you've decided to join the world of digital currency and want to buy some Bitcoin. Where do you start? The most common place is on a cryptocurrency exchange. These are platforms where you can buy, sell, and store your Bitcoin. But don't worry, you won't need a physical wallet to store these coins. A digital one will do just fine. To start, you'll need to set up an account on a cryptocurrency exchange. This process is similar to creating an account on any other online platform. You'll need to provide some basic information like your name, email address, and create a strong password. Some exchanges might also ask for additional information to verify your identity. You know, the usual procedures to keep everyone's transactions safe and secure. Once you've set up your account, the next step is to deposit funds. This is where your traditional, or as we call it in the world of crypto, fiat currency comes in. Fiat currency is just a fancy term for the money issued by your government, like dollars, euros, or yen. Most exchanges allow you to deposit funds directly from your bank account, or by using a credit or debit card. Remember, different exchanges might have different deposit methods and fees so it's always a good idea to check these details before you proceed. Now, on to the fun part buying bitcoin once your funds are deposited you can go ahead and make your purchase on the exchange you'll see bitcoin listed as btc enter the amount you'd like to buy bitcoin is divisible which means you don't have to buy a whole bitcoin you can buy fractions of it you could buy 0.1 bitcoin or even as little as 0.0000001 bitcoin also known as a satoshi named after the elusive creator of bitcoin satoshi nakamoto once you've entered the amount, confirm your purchase and voila, you're now the proud owner of Bitcoin. Remember the value of Bitcoin fluctuates so the price can go up and down. But don't let that scare you. As with any investment, it's all about the long game. Now that you know how to buy Bitcoin, let's talk about its uses. So, you've bought some Bitcoin. But what can you do with it? Well, one of the primary uses of Bitcoin is as a form of payment. 
In the same way that you might use dollars, euros, or yen to buy goods and services, you can also use Bitcoin. There are a growing number of merchants and online businesses that accept Bitcoin as a valid form of payment. This includes everything from online retailers and service providers to restaurants and brick and mortar stores. Bitcoin transactions are fast, secure, and can be conducted from anywhere in the world. This makes it an attractive option for international purchases or for transactions that would otherwise require complicated bank transfers or hefty currency exchange fees. And it's not just about buying things. Bitcoin can also be used to make donations to charitable organizations, send money to friends or family across borders, or even as a form of investment. Another significant use of Bitcoin is its role in the development of other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin's groundbreaking technology and widespread acceptance have paved the way for thousands of other digital currencies, collectively known as altcoins. Each of these altcoins operates on a similar principle as Bitcoin but offers unique features or uses, further expanding the possibilities of cryptocurrency. Whether you're interested in making purchases, investing or exploring the world of digital currencies, Bitcoin offers a wealth of possibilities. The beauty of Bitcoin lies in its versatility. It's a currency, an asset, a technological innovation, and a symbol of a growing digital economy. So whatever your interest in Bitcoin, remember that it's much more than just digital gold. Bitcoin is more than just a digital asset. It's a new way of making transactions in the digital age. We've covered a lot of ground today from understanding what Bitcoin is to how you can buy and use it. We've delved into the world of Bitcoin, a decentralized cryptocurrency introduced by an enigmatic figure or group, Satoshi Nakamoto. We've explored its workings, based on a blockchain network, and how it can be purchased on various exchanges. We've discussed how Bitcoin mining works, with miners solving complex mathematical problems. We've also learned about the smallest unit of Bitcoin, the Satoshi, and how Bitcoin rewards for miners are halved every 210,000 blocks. We've also touched on the practical uses of Bitcoin, from making purchases at merchants and online businesses that accept cryptocurrencies to its role in the current digital era. Bitcoin's popularity has catapulted the development of other cryptocurrencies and has thus revolutionized the way we perceive finance today. If you liked this video and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.